What is up, everyone? Welcome to another Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies map. This one is called The Crazy Place, and again, I've actually already played this, but when I went back to edit my recording to release it as a video, I found out it did not record my voice, so played an entire, like, hour and a half video, and it had no voice recording to it whatsoever. Weird little bug with my recording, so I've had to replay this, so I kind of know what's going on, and this map's probably been out for a little bit by now, and everyone and their mother has played it, so I'm not going like, oh, it's so new, I don't know what to do, yeah, I kind of, kind of already got past that stage. Anyways, this is a map by, I think it's called Hobbs, I think that's map maker's name, I'm trying to re-record this. And beat it for you all with voice recording, hopefully, not just gameplay because it didn't record my voice whatsoever. Weird, it's happened before. It's done that to me before, but it's just random when it decides that it's not going to record voice. It's like it just randomly turns off my uh, voice recording. I don't know why it does that. But anyways, this is the crazy place, and obviously it's just a crazy place from like regular origins with the difference being that uh, you do the different drawing things becomes real and there's perks here I must be imagining this so. pretty cool map it's got a really cool like remix of origins Easter egg to it with the stabs and everything like you can see they're here but I gotta get each crystal for each one of them and I've already figured out how to do all of it I actually fully beat it last time it just I'll, I'll throw the clip in of me beating it, but there's no voice recording to it whatsoever, unfortunately. It's just how it worked out. Let's try to get enough points here for Jug to start off with. It's so fun because the zombies are like slow right now. Nice and slow, nice and easy. But as soon as I start the first step of the Easter egg, it's like they ramp up to like full speed, full aggression instantly. Even if it's like round six or seven, they're still full speed. Alright, I need Jug. There we go. I have the strength of man who fights for greater good. Hurry up and kill all the zombies, and no point in waiting around right now. I'll try to do this one unedited as well. I was going to do it kind of split up because it was a long process, but now that I know what I'm doing and there's not so much searching, um, I could probably just run through it. Won't be no speed run, that's for sure. I don't even know what the... <laughs> I don't even know who could say they've done this the fastest. Like, I think everybody's had a different experience. I know just a little bit ago before I started recording again, I was looking at the workshop page, just try to streamline this with recording. Oh yeah, by the way, we can get zombie blood. There are bodies to search that apparently give you drone parts. I didn't use the drone part last, or the Max's drone last time, even though I found all the parts and built it, I just never really used it. But anyways, I was looking, apparently this map has issues co-op so I don't know if people playing co-op have been able to beat it but apparently solo it works perfectly fine oh wait another one. Oh, nope. oh well I don't really need it last time I only got one here and I thought okay it's one here and two other places but oh. so start around five you get this pedestal which I'm gonna buy double tap first I need double tap Effect, you get this. Unpredictable. You just hit F on it. You get this, and you gotta take it to a soul box at each of the portal locations. If he has to. And that was when the zombies decide to be like extremely angry. And you just still yeah, fill souls until it's done. My life for the greater good. It is also early in the morning when I'm re-recording this, so uh, I'm a little bit loopy from being tired. Just all right. Don't want that nuke yet. 
Also helps if I can hit the zombies and not get hit like 30 times. Is that enough? So much evil swept uh, away you, by a mighty force. Yep. So when it's done, it just automatically kicks the summoning key off, and you, you just take it to another one. We Do should that. have shared our ammo. Should have bought speed cola, but I didn't have enough points for ammo and speed cola, and I need ammo. All right, tell me. Bring me your souls for collection. Nothing can suppress the beating heart of a true Russian. Do -do. Last time I played, I just ran the STG-44 because it's about the only wall gun I found until later in the map. Ammunition shared amongst us all, as it should be. Die like the rat you are. Get some insta kill going here for a minute. Will not be oppressed. Is it done yet? Your dance on your grave. Well, I would hope so, but guess not. Speak cola. Oh no, it is. Okay. I feel a rush cool. of energy coursing through my blood. I don't even think I'll hit the box. I didn't last time. I actually upgraded the uh, Mauser pistol, and then I ended up trading it out for stabs. So. You actually can get to the stabs pretty quickly in this map. Because basically once you do the soul filling, then that's when you're able to go get the uh, crystals to actually build them. And then upgrading them after is pretty easy as well. I will break you. Okay. Also, I gotta try to keep an island when that gets done because sometimes when it kicks it off it kicks it towards you and you automatically pick it up and when you do you can't shoot or switch weapons either is that it still needs more interesting interesting get a quick drink I might need ammo here in a minute too you do get plenty of points playing this map too. I noticed it seemed like I never had a issue with getting enough points. Oh, is it done? Yep. See that time I didn't even have to go get it. It, it just threw it to me. Alright. I do need to buy ammo. I might just round a bunch of them up and then run them up there. Kill them all. And basically what you're doing is collecting these souls and then you take it to the middle and you're able to then open the uh, like the tunnel the portals except they don't I take you to uh, whatever tunnel you open them to they actually take you to different places which is a cool twist on it honestly it's kind of like playing origins in reverse though all right zombies i need to bring you up here and then sacrifice you No sin goes unpunished. Alright, what do I got for drops? All the drops, apparently. We have the means to ensure our victory. Um, I heard more zombies. Actually, can I get that drone part still? Oh, I can, nice. I may be able to construct something useful from such pieces. So yeah, last time I didn't use the Maxis drone, you don't even need it really. So, it's just kind of cool to have it, I guess. Ah, of course, I killed him. Oops! Alright, that's not done yet. Um, I guess I should buy Quick Revive. There are more perks than these, I just haven't really, uh... I don't need to buy other ones Ugh. other than Mule Kick, but tastes like by the time I get to it, that's way too late in the map. Alright, switch out. Need a gun that'll actually kill him. 
You have awoken the sleeping bear. Okay. That's done. You take it to the middle. You see that little orange portal. You throw it in that. Switch guns. And then it just automatically ends. I think it automatically ends around. This gramophone will grab allow that. To listen to recordings. And the only one you have access to yes, is yes, this portal. And then of course you've got to do the animation and everything. They need to hear the songs. Gotta right. finish these guys off. Because I want to save one or two before I go through that portal for a specific reason. And probably see when I get there. I'm probably spawning from like two different locations. I think. That must be the last one. Grab some ammo real quick. I'm gonna need it. So now I go through the portal and you'll see where this takes me. You probably know, but no good brings us back to the surface. Get a shield part as soon as you spawn in, usually. Um, shovel. I may have need for this. And this douchebag comes. Are buried beneath the surface. Oh boy. Get away from the zombie there, buddy. Please don't kill him. It's going to kill him. Of course. Because why not? Like straw men, our enemies uh, fall before sorry. us. Digging. I would have wanted an MR6. Oh, snowballs. Like, I have them too. You should have stayed in your grave. Another zombie. Two double points. Now, pack a punch is here as well, but I have to do something first, I think, to actually unlock it or build it or something. It's kind of weird. Another shield part. Another new you can challenge me. Overly aggressive, angry zombies. Feel the might of the motherland. I'll take that. You are dead already. All right, last Die one. Like the rat you are. Think so. I'm gonna go back to the crazy place. I'm gonna build the shield and also get some ammo, and then I'll start on the next Easter egg step. Well, this came back. Oh, a gun from beneath the earth. I'll take it. I don't need to keep the Mauser for any particular reason. My secondary weapon actually really doesn't matter because it's gonna be getting traded out for stabs here shortly. So what I do want to do is craft a shield to get that. I need to buy more ammo. Okay. So now what I do is I go back and somebody probably may have seen it. There's a soul chest there, but it's not actually a soul chest. It is a like a hold out defense but I want to actually search more graves real quick Grenade, get out of here don't need that oh it's a skeleton it's first time I had one of them happen it's kind of unique another workbench here but build the maxis train there I guess is there any more dig sites guess not so basically what you do is instead of a soul filler it's a lockdown I'll do the lockdown real quick. These douchebags show up. It's like a generator, but, you know, you don't actually have a generator to, uh, to fill. This shotgun's actually not bad. It's got attachments on it, which makes it pretty nice. And then this guy shows up.
I don't know why there's more of them guys spawning still. I don't I don't know if I have to kill him first and then they stop. Alright, he's done. Go ahead and grab the nuke. Perhaps these unknown oh, dead shot. Just, just like last time. Alright, so there's the wind staff oh, crystal. Never have I held I think pack of punch should be built. Or it does build now. So give me that upgraded. This weapon now there belongs we go. to Russia. Is there any more dig sites? I don't think any more of them showed up. Oh yeah, I have to, uh, that guy's glowing, or, like, illuminated. <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. Uh, no dig site. Alright. So basically I have to kill him with snowballs, like that. And then I think I have to knife him, yep. There's the ice crystal. Um... There's also something I gotta do with the robot head. I think I gotta throw snowballs at it till it fires. Like that! More snowballs, please! Shoot zombies! And then this airplane is supposed to crash! I don't know if it has or what happened there, because I didn't really hear it. I think it did, though. Yeah. There is the fire crystal. And then the lightning staff crystal is actually found by dig sites, which well I've been hitting them trying to as much as I can. I don't know how many you gotta dig or if it's just random. Your fitting touch is unwelcome. That zombie just walked through a Do shotgun. I stand That. You're probably the last one. Need to keep him alive. Is there any more dig site? No? Okay, I, I got really unlucky, I guess. Well, that's fine. I can actually go ahead and... I think I could actually almost upgrade three of them already. Sounds crazy, but I think I can. Yeah, I can upgrade them all except the light beam. Alright. Oh yes, and these walls of doom are here now. So, staff is built. Staff you is have built. To keep going. You um, have to actually, I'm not going to do the fire staff. Are you yet really going to see this through? Because it does to a thing end? when I actually put the crystal in it. I want to get out of here so very badly. So let's see here. Um, we'll see what happens oh, these are randomized now. I think too. That's interesting. I think. Zombie, you're really annoying. There, I got that back. I'm trying to get off memory. I even though I just did a little bit ago. Zombie, you're destroying my shield really fast. Zombie, you're really getting on my nerves. There we go. I screwed it all up from the start. So then you go back to the surface world. And then something fun happens. You come here to the crystal ball, which these will always show you where the upgrade step is.
wait till they land so I can actually do damage to them. Not get burned. Oh, he's not dead. There we go. So that's pretty much that staff done. Have to up, open the portal. Dig sites. Any dig sites? Let's see one over here. This is but so there's that crystal. So I can build it and upgrade it. Round you guys up so I can kill a bunch of you. To stop my Pretty much just want to kill a bunch of them and then uh, get down to one zombie left. Oh, zombie blood. So there's bodies here to search as well, which will give you a drum part. One of them will eventually. Don't want the nuke. Strengthen numbers to their advantage. There we go. There's that German part. Decided to keep the brain of his friend. I, I believe something similar happened to the Putin. Built this drone. All right, that might be the last zombie. Which is fine. So I, I built it last time, but I never used it. So I don't know if I'll try to use it this time or not. It's not required for a step like the uh, regular origin Easter egg is. Something is wrong. I can no longer touch. Do, 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 do. No longer feel. So the wind and I don't think the wind and the ice staff have basically the first upgrade step is the same as origins. The lightnings is a little different, but it's similar. And then the fire staff, I think, is just completely different. Which is cool, it makes it, you know, better that it's not all the same. Otherwise, it'd be too easy, pretty much. That's ready to upgrade. Now, grab this. And I need to make this guy a crawler, if I can. Nice. Become crawler. Become slower crawler. Like that. Right, I have to get my uh, cheat sheet for the ice one out oh, because I honestly don't remember it. All right, got that up. So a one is just that simple. Actions have consequence. Two is that simple, and my shield would break. So that one is that simple. That one is. That one is that one, and that one, and that's done. You're getting closer. Grab my shield. So much closer. Now I go back to the surface world to do the next step. If this is boring, I understand Easter egg stuff can be a little bit boring sometimes, especially when it's like, oh, here you do this, then do this, then do this, and yeah, okay, we get it. <laughs> So last time, okay, ra is it random order? I guess. Basically, it's the same as in Origins. You shoot these gravestones, but I think the only way you can destroy them after they're froze is with a snowball, and you have to do it in the order of this blue orb, which shows you where they're at. But it's basically the same thing as in regular Origins. Although the map up here is not the same. It... But what's nice is that little orb helps you along your way. So shoot that one. Something and has that's changed. done. Now when I say these are done, they're done to the point where it's just collecting the souls in the crazy place to uh, charge them up, I guess. As it would be. Alright. Alright. Go put this on its pedestal. 
and then we can go do the lightning one. I'm saving the fire staff for last because the last time I did it, it did something different when I put the crystal on it. If you've played the map or you've seen somebody else play it, you probably know what I'm talking about. You're doing this. You're actually going um, to get me out of here. I don't know if I can make this guy a crawler. He's plenty slow, so we'll see if we can do it. Maybe this will help. And if you can see what's going on, it is showing me which one to shoot. And then I have to just copy the sequence, like Simon says. That should be it, I think. It only does it four times. Just what have we achieved? Okay, maybe it's five. Yep! That's done! Your bravery will soon so now we go back nightmare. to the surface and listen to uh, generic <laughs> Origins announcer quotes. So this one's pretty easy, but it's not very straightforward what you do. There's your orb, but there's these white orbs that you just you have to shoot. And if your shot connects, it makes the lightning sound. And then they start to actually connect to each other. I don't know if there's an order you have to do it in, but I've just been... Alright, zombie, chill out. I just shoot them in, like, counterclockwise order. And once you do, they connect to the middle. Charges the actual orb up. And that's it. Super easy, super simple. Way Easter eggs kind of should be. You know, instead of solving complex math equations and realigning the stars or something. Grab you our drink real quick. Alright, so this one's done. And I, I guess I'll do the fire staff. You're going to see what's going to happen here in a second. Oh yes, a million and one zombies appearing from nowhere. And then they apparently attack this thing, I have to like, defend it somehow. Even though there's quite a few of them. But what's interesting is, I didn't realize it, but I could have done this last time like this and filled staves by uh, doing this. on your grave! Oh, I have snowballs. I'm going to use grenades, but I don't have them anymore. Yeah, see, they're like the lightning ones, me. And it really does send a lot of these dudes after you. Like, a lot. And some of them attack you, like, personally, which is odd. That's done. Oh my, there's a lot of them still. It didn't kill them all off, but it did last time. I am out of ammo as well. Give me ammo. So I totally miss them. Alright, must be the last two. So what you do for this staff, if I can talk all for Samantha, is see the orb is here, you can actually access this teleporter. We will solve these riddles. This or without help. And it takes Every you someplace different. With a single step. This is step one. Alright, finish building portal. And similar to regular origins, but in a really cool looking place, you have to shoot the uh, torches in a certain order so that they're look like these so that one's always first and then it could be this one there's one there there's one way up there there's one right there and then there's one there and right there pretty easy to do you just gotta pay attention to which one starts smoking after you shoot the first one and there's a wall gun here there's also an mp40 in like 
near pack a punch too, but I never bought it last time. So I think that one's smoky. There's that one. So then this one here. And that one. And that's done. So then it tells you to build the portal again, and that's it. Place this one down, and it's ready to upgrade. Meanwhile, the other ones are actually already done. And I think I could actually go ahead and start on another easy step. I don't think there's anything that really limits you from progressing too far. Like, too quickly. Other than just your own, like skill or lack of zombies to kill so didn't need that to happen completely blocks me from the staff I was wanting to get go grab the lightning staff because I want to do this one first but you can also go through this portal as well but I don't think there's a need to other than just opening it to move the orb across the room. I'll show you where the lightning staff one takes you though. It's kind of a cool area but it's not really useful. Uh, see so here's mule kick which by this point it's kind of too late I don't really need it. Go ahead and build this portal. And the only other thing in here is a, a music rock and then box location which if you hit the box that many times and move it here then you're kind of SOL for a little bit. Okay, I forgot they're pretty much standing there waiting for you. I uh, need to go open the wind staff tunnel now. Which, there we go. This one takes you to the room that you'll go back to the most, probably after open. So once you go through this portal, it brings you to Samantha's room and these things appear here. And what you have to do is you have to grab this thing off the hat rack and I don't think you interact with anything else here. You just return back to the crazy place with the uh, Cronorium doing its little mini cutscene. And what you do is there's little uh, color coordinated wisps with like each of the staves you have to interact with. So the one with the lightning staff is actually up here on the surface. And you have to have the lightning staff to do this, trust me. I found out the hard way. Oh, free guns. Don't even. So, right here it is, and you just hit F, hear that noise, and a big douchebag shows up to attack you. And you have to kill him. I'm trying not to kill the zombies, though, because I, <laughs> I don't want to end the round yet. And unfortunately, I still ended the round. Alright, and if it's done, you'll see there's a purple colored orb on you. If you look down, you can see it's kind of cool. Now I need to go back. And pretty much to finish this step of the Easter egg, you just go back and you have to interact with the... Uh, Go back to the Samantha's room and interact with the purple orb there for the lightning staff, which if I can get there without getting beat by zombies. And then there's the one for the wind staff, which I could do that one next, I guess. Alright, so that one is right here. Yep. It'll disappear and reappear, and then it'll move. Yep. Grab that one, and we'll go ahead and return. All 
All right. Place you back. Stay Grab back, you. Please. I am ready to fight till my last breath. And then after that. Oh, no, I went through the portal. It's not what I wanted to do. I think if you go through different one of these circles, it'll actually take you to the different portals, too. I actually did that last time, too. Once I interacted with it, I accidentally went through the portal. Only with your combined strength do you stand But what I need chance. to do is stand here and get kills with the wind staff that'll charge it. Fire staff is charged now. Is it not done yet? Apparently not. All right, that's fine. Once it disappears, then I'll know it's done. Also, once you upgrade the staffs, these orbs come here and they have to go through the portal with you. Alright, it's done. Go through the portal real quick. So there's the fire one. Just interact with that, let it do its thing. Alright, and then go through this one. I don't remember which portal this is. Alrighty. Oh, it's the ice staff. We can do this one real quick. So for this one, instead of filling souls down there, you fill them up here. Alright, I do have the wisp thing. I thought for a second I maybe forgot it, but I didn't. And you interact with that. And just do the same thing, just fire charge shots here. Hopefully it kills the zombies fast enough. I fight for the cause, my own survival. Fire another one there. And that ends round. You know nothing of Russian winters. Oh, it's done. Never mind. I have the uh, charged up wisp orb thing. Ball of static light. <laughs> I don't know what you call them. Feel the might of the motherland. Alright, I'm gonna run back to Samantha's room, put this one on the ice orb. Which I think is that one, yep. I can grab another one of those. I don't think I have to wait for that to finish doing whatever it does. Alright. Send me back. Your numbers do not oh gosh. Me. I fear nothing. I need the fire staff. Alright, and let me take this thing to this fire pit of doom. And I think it's yeah, it's right there. I interact with that. And now I have to wait for zombies, or I think the skeletons here. I think the skeletons is what I need. Oh, I hear them. Where are you at, bony boys? I'm just gonna spawn one at a time? 
So I think as long as you just kill them with the staff out, I think that's all that it counts for. of revolution can never be extinguished. Alright, skeletons, hurry up. Oh, they do have to be close enough, apparently. That's interesting. This is a cool-looking place. With a uh, lava that flows sideways and backwards, and <laughs> all right, how many more do I need to kill? I'm on. Even the fires of Hades are no match for this. why they spawn in so slow here. It's kind of weird. Skeletons, where are you? It does take them a while. Unfortunately. I don't know if I'll cut this part out or not. Just waiting on them. Oh, and it's done. Time to get out of here, and I think that's it. I'm about ready to beat the map. <laughs> I think so. I think there's like one little mini step after this, and that's it. Just gotta wait for this to finish doing its thing. Alright, so then I gotta run back. F that. Yeah, and see, no more things spawn, so that means they're all done. So, yeah. I think I go back to the crazy place. And I'm about ready to beat it. As you can tell by the music that says, you've done something. <laughs> Alright, um. These walls would be better if they just didn't exist. From the Please don't kill me now. Do I stand alone against our oppressor? I just needed to get to the middle. I think that's it. Yep. Alright. Well, thank you guys for watching. I know this is kind of a, a short rushed video, but this is the crazy place. It's a pretty cool Origins remix. And until the next map, I will see you guys later.